कैसे हो भाई लोगों यहाँ पे फूफे की गांड फट गई लेडीज एंड जनमे बिका ब्रांड न्यू लीक्स अबाउट जी टी एस सिक्स ट्रेलर टू बिका जी टी एस सिक्स ऑनलाइन टीज गोइंग अराउंड वी ऑल्सो है डेव रिसली दैट केम आउट एंड सेट सम थिंग्स दैट आर ओन थिंग ही शुड है टेकिंग लुक एट दैट वन लाइक दीडियो इफ यू जस्ट होप दैट जेसन डजन टर्न आउट टू बी अ स्ट्रॉन्ग इंडिपेंडेंट वुमेन मे Like the video if you don't want the game being woke man but roll it check Today, the biggest question that everyone wants to know is when are we getting the trailer 2 for GTA 6 yeah. the first trailer absolutely shattered all of expectations and the internet last year in december but what about trailer 2 could we be mere months away from our next look at GTA 6 now uh or maybe years uh, you never know right? along with that we're going to talk about a recent gt online update which many are saying could be our first look at what gta 6's online could offer additionally we have some new comments from an ex gta dev that gave us some insight on the scale scope and just overall expectations of gta 6 we have a lot to cover so check the video chapters for easy viewing and let's get uh -huh. into it so as you know we were approaching the one year anniversary of the reveal for Crazy. gta 6 which released in december of 2023 currently the trailer is sitting at over 203 million man it is insane right it's august right now let me know what year you're watching this video if you're watching in 2050 let us know if the game came out or not man cuz we know we need to know man we want to know if the game came out or not man <laughs> we want to know if the game was actually good or not okay that's all what we care about we just want a good game man like the video if you just want a good game but august so september october november uh, yeah 8 months guys oh shit oh, shit. it's been 8 months since we had the first trailer million views on YouTube shattering records. But with the end of the year rapidly approaching, the big question that is on everyone's mind is when are we finally going to see the next trailer? <laughs> but we have to wait until December for the next trailer. Will Rockstar even give us a trailer in 2024? Obviously, we don't have any concrete information to go off Let of, but if this. history repeats itself, the next trailer released in sometime at the end of the year would make total sense. However, according to a recent graphic posted from Rockstar Games, trailer 2 could be coming sooner than expected. Now, this is a wild theory, but I could totally see now, it coming true. Now, recently thing. Rockstar Here's the thing though. So on August the 8th, they're going to have their investor call, so perhaps around this time that's also been like theorized i don't think they're going to drop it this early though i think it's going to be shortly by the end of this year but i will live stream this uh, event as well absolutely we're going to get some information like every quarter we get right so definitely uh, like and subscribe hit the bell we're going to stream that day for sure Games posted a video for the new GTA Online pizza delivery update, and in that video, there's what many are saying is a clue for GTA 6 and a possible trailer to release date. Now, if you take a look at the screenshot right here, here is the license plate. It says pizza, but the A is a four. Now, if you look right above the sticker at the top left, it says October, which many have interpreted as a teaser for the second trailer's release date in October on the fourth. Now, before you get crazy, if I'm not mistaken, basically every San Andreas license plate in GTA 5 has had the October on the sticker, so this likely means nothing. However, this is Rockstar Games we're talking about. They are known yeah. trolls. They like to do this to their community. I guess uh, animals are confirmed for GTA 6. Cars confirmed for GTA 6, guys. Like guys, look at what they did with the previous trailer. Like they had people looking at the moon cycles to determine when it was dropping. Which, funny enough, the moon cycle from the graphic was the same one from when the first trailer released. So while this license plate probably means nothing. Oh my God! So you're saying that that was real? No, man. No way. I I do know that they were teasing, and there was one tease on which it was uh, having numbers that said December, December the fourth or the fifth, something like that, right? Of course, uh, somebody leaked the Lucia Bruna. Somebody leaked the GTA 6 trailer a day early, so then they had to drop it a day early. But other than that, like they were teasing it, and that was uh, pretty spot on. Those pretty spot that on. is pretty funny that it says October 4th. Now again, this could be just a mere coincidence. It could be Rockstar trolling yeah. us, and the October 4th date is just completely irrelevant. But this could be a teaser for the trailer to release date. Now, if October rolls around and we don't get a trailer on the 4th, when is our best bet for the second trailer? Obviously, we know nothing for sure. But trailer 2 launching in December of 2024, one year after the initial first trailer release, Crazy. does make the most sense to me. But it could be that we don't even see another trailer for GTA mm -hmm. 6 until 2025, which currently. Yo, dog. If we don't get the trailer, if we don't get the trailer this year, dog. At that point, I would start to believe that the game is getting delayed to 2026, guys. Like, and, and that's not even a crazy thought. Even if you get the trailer this year, though, the game can still get delayed. Though, like, come on now, man. Like, we're talking Rockstar Games, okay? This was supposed to come out early 2025, is what we heard initially, right? Take Two also did say uh, the game is uh, supposed to come out like fiscal 2025, which means early 2025 for those of you that uh, uh, that were not aware of this situation. So yeah, so they and then later on they gave us a hard uh, cycle or calendar year or not necessarily calendar year, but they gave us the quarter. So it's fall fall of uh, 2025 so they gave us like that period it's confirmed but it can always get delayed right it can always get delayed hopefully not though man 2026 that's gonna be crazy though i wish it was early 2025 but the way time is flying i mean we're zooming through right now so it's like a year and two months kind of wait ish right if the game comes out on time 
But if you don't get their trailer by the end of this year, then it's kind of like uh, at that point it would be a little uh, like uh, you know what I'm saying like at that point I would believe that it's coming out in 2026, man. Only is the launch year of the game that is unless we get a delay, but we'll talk more about that in a bit. If we don't get trailer two until 2025, I'd say our best bet would be sometime around one of Take Two's quarterly earnings calls, as that's typically the best case scenario for them, mainly because it boosts confidence with investors. For a company yeah. like Take Two that is publicly traded. I, I mean, August the 8th, there is a small chance though. I mean, it's a chance. Let's let's hope for the best. If it drops, man, that would be absolutely crazy because I don't think anybody really is expecting it for, for, for another trailer to drop that day, but I will live stream for sure. Rated, it makes the most sense for them to do any type of marketing for their biggest game of the decade sometime around a quarterly earnings call. Now, with all of this being said, I really do hope that we get a trailer sometime this year. I don't think I've been this excited for a game to release since probably 2017 with Breath of the Wild. But let's be honest, as much as I love Breath of the Wild, it pales in comparison to GTA 6's hype levels. Yeah. Now, another major question that's on everyone's mind regarding GTA 6 yeah. is this, and that is whether or not the second trailer is going to leak early as well. The first GTA 6 trailer leaked in its entirety a whole day ahead of schedule by a random burner account on Twitter. And to this day, we're not really sure how that happened or where where the leak originated from. The theory for a long time was it was somebody at Rockstar, but the more we learn about the situation, the less that I believe that. Mainly Initially, they did say that it was a YouTube employee, right? Because uh, think about it this way, right? Think about it this way. You had somebody, because the video, the trailer, GTA 6 trailer was private on Rockstar Games YouTube channel. And the only people that ha had access to it were people that knew Rockstar Games uh, login information on YouTube or people that were controlling that channel or because on YouTube you can also add managers, channel managers for for example like if I made somebody channel manager he can just go in the account and see the videos, make public, upload videos, this and that, reply to comments and all that right so that's the thing. So it was either the channel managers or the guy that uploaded the trailer but he probably didn't do it let's be real like if he was the, the one that did it of course he would get fired he would quickly get found out right absolutely and, and then the last thing the last uh victim in the situation or the real suspect in this situation it could be a youtube employee and that's what people were talking about like a couple of months ago right and people were saying that well it was a youtube employee and you know rockstar games knowing them knowing take two they had the aliens involved uh, they had <laughs> NASA astronauts, they had the FBI, okay, I'm joking around with all that, but they did us had the FBI involved, they had the FBI involved, and I'm not joking about that, they had the FBI involved when the first, uh, you know, back in September 2022, when the Lucia Brunaga leaked out, when the one hour plus gameplay leaked out for GK6, the very first leak, right, that confirmed that the game is in development, that's the one I'm talking about. And that guy, Orion Kurtaj was his name, he was like 16 or 17 at the time, hacked Amazon, hacked Uber, hacked Rockstar Games, leaked the Lucia Burna, leaked the gameplay and all that. He got arrested and to this day, we don't know what happened to him. Like seriously, we don't even know if he's alive or not. We don't even know like where he's at. He's probably like doing time. Uh, I think he's still in jail or something like that. But but that's crazy, right? Over leaking GK6. I, I mean, like to be fair though, he also was hacking like other stuff as well, like Uber and other aspects of or not aspects, but other companies, right? So yeah, makes sense. But like, damn man, like even the murderers don't get that much time, and that poor kid uh, is uh, in jail. Now he's not a kid anymore, but you feel what I'm saying at the time when he was arrested, he was a poor kid, man because the original trailer leak was watermarked with a big crypto plug. So while we're not exactly sure who it was, it had to have been somebody either from the inside of Rockstar or maybe somebody with direct contact with the GTA 6 team, perhaps somebody at Take Two, that probably is not the case, or it was somebody at Google with backend access to YouTube and who could watch YouTube videos from basically any channel on the platform. We know this has been a big issue recently. Nintendo has had a bunch of leaks that have happened. Basically entire Nintendo Directs have leaked because of this issue, but I believe that person was recently fired and we didn't really see any lawsuits that have happened with Rockstar yet, which obviously Rockstar is going to sue whenever they find out who leaked their trailer. Either yeah. way, we don't know for yeah. sure how the trailer leaked in the way that it did, but if it was somebody internally at Rockstar, we don't know if they were able to track down the hacker in their midst mm -hmm. and revoke their mm -hmm. access, if it mm -hmm. indeed was by somebody internally. So does this mean the second trailer is going to leak ahead of time as well? Could the leaker still be out there? Could they still be working at Rockstar, possibly take two? If that's the case, then I have a feeling that the second trailer would probably leak as well, because why not? But make no mistake, if Rockstar or Take-Two ever tracked down where the first trailer leak came from, they're going to make a very public example out of them. So we'll definitely know about it if the culprit is ever caught, but if that does I mean, they already made an example out of arresting that poor kid. They acted like that guy murdered somebody, man. Damn, I get it though, he leaked the gameplay. But so what people got to see, bruh? So what people got to see the Lucia Burda? So what, bro? So what? So what?
It's just gameplay, bro. It's just gameplay, man. Damn. No, I, of course, I'm kind of joking around. I'm exaggerating. I get it, though. Like, he shouldn't have leaked it. I get it. Okay, I get it. But still, like, these is acting like he murdered somebody, man. Like, damn. Free, free the leaker, man. Free the leaker. Like the video if you were with free the leaker. Free the leaker. He did the time already, man. Damn, like, y'all suckers have been... Uh, this September or October-ish, it would be two years. Two years. I don't think he deserved two years in prison, though. Like, come on now, man. Like, a year? Okay. But two years? Damn doesn't happen before the second trailer is scheduled to release i'm absolutely confident that the thing is gonna leak again one thing is for sure is they probably shouldn't post it on youtube like they shouldn't premiere it at all like they should just randomly hot drop it upload it same day to avoid the situation of giving people a countdown to leak the trailer before it actually premieres so as you know gta 6's initial launch is going to be an exciting time but the aspect that is the most hyped is just be like gta 6 trailer 2 is dropping in five minutes from now prepare for impact and then drop it is by far gta 6 online and the expectations for that mode are literally through the roof recently there was an update to gta online that many are suggesting is our first look at features we can expect for gta 6's online mode which honestly this has been the mentality for a while like it feels like every update that we get for gta online it's literally a straight up teaser for what's to come with gta 6. Mm -hmm. it's almost as yeah. if they're using gta online as a sort of testing ground for the gta 6 online mode it'd be the perfect place to just you know release a feature get some feedback from the community and just see how the overall reception is. This brings us to a recent GTA Online update that actually brought pizza delivery to the game, where you essentially pick up pizza and deliver it to customers. Now, this has many believing that GTA 6's Online will have a similar delivery system, which honestly would make sense, but it could be a bit more in-depth than that. What if GTA Online will have specific jobs you can work at? Yo, any pizza deliver in real life watching this video? Let me know, man. Let me know, man. Like, I, I want to know your expertise, though, because they about to drop your ass on the game, too, so... For instance, you go to a pizza restaurant and instead of just delivering pizzas, you can actually be employed at the pizza place. You go Dang. inside, you make the food and then deliver it to locals. <laughs> yeah, imagine a pizza delivery guy watching. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, you're hustling. Respect, okay? Like if anybody watching this video is hustling, you got my respect, okay? I got, yeah, you got my respect, boo-boo. But uh, yeah, if any, like, if a pizza delivery guy watching this, like if any of you that do, does pizza delivery as a service, right, you're probably like, damn, bro, I do that already, already in real life. I don't want to be doing that in game, man. Like, I don't want to do that for free in the game. <laughs> pay me. And I agree, bro. I agree. Like, they should pay your ass for that, too. They should pay and they should pay us to play, man. I love this idea. Like the video if you agree, man. They should pay us to play. Powers to the gamers, man. Gang, gang, homie. Gang, gang. Bruh, bruh. Gang it. Possibly other players as well. So Bruh. essentially bringing more life simulation into GTA 6's online. If we consider how good GTA Online is in its current state with the variety of missions, all of the various heists and the businesses you can do, I think it's safe to assume that GTA 6's online will have way more depth. I mean, look at the acquisition that Rockstar made with 5M and the popularity of GTA roleplay servers. I think Rockstar sees the value in those servers, the community reception. Maybe. I think there's going to be an attempt to replicate the success of those servers at a larger scale with a broader audience in mind. Like if you've ever seen a GTRP server, look at some of the jobs you can do some of the heists that you can do they're absolutely insane and it's surely inspiring the development of gta 6's online mainly because look at the popularity like this is what viewers want to see and if gta 6's online is anywhere near as good as some of the servers like for instance no pixel then we're going to be eating good with gta online now next up one thing we have to consider with all of this is the overall expectations for gta 6 as well as the impact that the 2022 leaks had on the development recently during an in-depth interview with a former rockstar developer they actually spoke oh, yeah. of the leaks to which they said yeah, yeah. this and i quote these leaks weren't that important in the grand scheme of things people always want to know more and when you don't tell them more they start to speculate the dev then continued by saying rockstar and other big companies generally keep their cards close to their chest because anything they say can be interpreted in a negative way which this aspect is obviously a concern amongst many and that's whether or not gta 6 will live up to the hype and expectations that it has obviously we're expecting a big holy crap oh, okay so i did not hear that quote i thought that that was gonna be you know because recently an ex rockstar game dev came on and said that GTA 6, make no mistake, is gonna. I'm paraphrasing, by the way. GTA 6, make no mistake, is gonna be a good game. But if you're assuming that it's gonna blow your mind, uh, think again, bucko. Uh, ba basically, he was saying that it was gonna be similar to GTA 5. So don't expect a miracle or anything like that. It's gonna be good, but you know what? It's not gonna be so uh, super crazy. That's basically what that ex Rockstar game employee was saying. He was trying to say like, simmer down, man. Just kill your expectations, brothers. That's what he was saying. Oh, this game better give us a free BJ, bro. Like, like, this game better, 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 better. This game better be good, man. This game better be good, bro. Evolution with the franchise, but is it going to be that big of a leap? Well, according to the dev in the same interview, they said this in a quote. I don't think it's going to be wildly different from GTA 5, they said. I think maybe people oh, yeah, will be one. a bit disappointed on the first day. However, he remains sure that GTA 6 will be the best game ever, and Rockstar managed to take it to the next level without a huge technical upgrade. Which yeah, the, okay, this one was, this was the quote that I was talking about, but the earlier one was different. I believe that was from a different dev. 
Honestly, I don't know if I believe it. If we look at the technical leap of GTA 5 to Red Dead Redemption 2, the leap is unfathomable in pretty much every facet. With GTA mm -hmm. 6, from just the trailer alone, it looks like it exceeds the advancements of Red Dead 2 and dwarfs GTA 5. Going but, but yeah, no, absolutely, right? Like, seeing this, like, it does look very good. It does look, graphically speaking, it does look very good. Maybe it was not necessarily talking about graphics, but more like the gameplay and the the, 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 the type of missions that we're going to have. Because if you, if you go back and play GTA 5 right now and do the missions, I'm talking about the single player man that game is still a masterpiece to this day bro like the type of missions you had especially the highest and the way they did it did all of that and i hope day one we get highest in gta 6 i want to see it in single player and on top i want to see it in uh, multiplayer as well yeah i know a lot of people don't like the multiplayer but guys listen it's coming right we know that you know that i know that so uh, it's coming why not have highest in them day one right that's basically where i'm at right now Back to the interview, the dev then said that the technology no longer evolves as quickly as it used to. They then pointed out that the massive jump between consoles like the PS1 to the PS2 are not as big as the advancements from the PS4 to the PS5, making it difficult to achieve revolutionary leaps in gameplay and visuals, they said. Which I guess is a fair take. The dev then acknowledges that the game will be a huge hit, and like the fans, they're excited about everything Rockstar is doing, but isn't sure if the game will live up to expectations. Honestly, I think that it's going to be difficult to live up to every expectation from all the fans, but I think if they deliver on what the trailer showcases and all the marketing says, then I think it's going to be great. Either way, the hype and excitement is definitely real whether or not it dog ever since ever since i went to miami man i'm like way excited for this game i actually visited this exact area uh, you know i was on the beach but there weren't that many people though maybe it went on a dead day or something like that but there weren't that many people guys click on this video on the screen because recently the type of stuff that's coming out in gaming and the stuff that's happening on the youtube scene absolutely crazy i'm not sure if you guys were able to catch this video or not don't sleep on it. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. Some bad news, folks. We had some bad news on the left.